Hey, he said, he said, I want that power, man. Ooh. Give, me that, give me that power, man. He was scratching like Pookie. Give, give me that power, man. He, he was scratching like this one more, man. I, I got these two cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> I just need that level up, man. <laughs> you got these what? You got them what? You got them. I got them cheeseburgers, man. <laughs>
everyone has their own timeline. Everybody has their own point. They have their starting point, their end point. We don't we don't start at the same spot. We don't end at the same spot. So you just gotta look at your road. You gotta look at your road and run it. You know what I can appreciate about the anime community? In this world, in this scene, it's like no one never gotta grow up. And we grown kids. I'm not well, lying. I'm I'm rocking with this community, bro. Big old kids. Big old kids. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And I'm I'm not gonna lie. You know, you go to the comic cons and you see people dressed up. You know what I'm saying? It's not out the norm. It's not weird. You know what I'm saying? People not judging you. You know, matter of fact, they're fascinated with your creativity. Oh, yeah. And man, you exude the creativity, bro. <laughs> Everybody always say, "Man, what do Burn think?" What do burn like? What burn next move going to be, bro? It's like you are a celebrity within your own right at times, bro. <laughs> I got to give you your flowers on that, bro. Yeah. I mean, you do things, you do things with um no fear of consequence or backlash behind. That, that's you know, I I I try, you know. I mean, like um uh uh one of Childish Gambino's lines. I'm a huge Childish Gambino fan, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, one of his lines in one of his songs, he literally said, um, he's like, uh, um, I, I used to care what people thought, but now I care more. <laughs> and Yo. that right there, I was like, at first I was like, hmm? I was like, hmm? I was like, yeah. It's like, because at the same time, like, I used to care what people thought, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do my own thing, do my own thing. And I was like, okay. But at the same time, like, I don't care, but at the same time, I kind of care. So, it's <laughs> like, like and I'm the outside looking in. I'm like, man, I don't care. And at the That's same time, fact. I'm like, mm, I don't care. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care. We went from IRL to IDC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a fact. That is a fact. So, Byrne, you know what I'm saying? You you are lit within your own right. And for you to go on this rekindlement journey, I know that there are a lot more plans in the future. You know what I'm saying? Do you care to disclose some of the information? Do you care to disclose a few updates to what you got going on? And then, uh, so pretty much uh, all of you guys, uh, I don't know. Well, maybe y'all don't. So uh, I'm a photographer. I do photography on, photography on the side. Uh, cosplayer. Um, oh, Drop, yo, Luffy's gonna get me for that. Hey, hey Luffy's gonna get mad at that one. Let Let's it go. go. Uh, but yeah, so um, photographer on the side, um, cosplayer. Um, I'm getting, I'm trying to get into uh, cosplay photography. Um, so I'm pretty much starting up a business right there. Working on getting that LLC right now. Okay. Um, pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing some stuff behind the wood where it's gonna pop up, you know. Just, just, just keep an eye out for me. I'm about to be out there. I'm about and, to be out there. And we definitely going to plug BTW on this channel because guess what? He's definitely a founding father on the Straight Booming Podcast. So you, you got to go ahead, tap in with him, tap in on his new YouTube channel, tap in on his podcast he's about to launch. Also, do you care to talk about the new podcast you about to launch? Oh, yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. Plug yourself, bro. Uh, so pretty much uh, the one, one I'm gonna, I'm doing so much. I got so many going on. Well, he got uh, so many hands in the bag. Uh, one I'm really, really looking forward to right now. Um, I, I'm not going to reveal the name just yet because, you know, I haven't got the I haven't got the LLC for it yet. And I don't want no one jumping in and getting it before I get now, it. That is a fact. Um. But yeah, I got a podcast. It's um, gonna be um, pretty much uh, me, uh, and then I have a couple other people up there, and then we're just gonna talk about different things here and there. Uh, pretty much things that go on in everyday life, you know, things that everybody can relate to. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a simple way to describe it. Uh, I'm about to drop a trailer for it in the next few weeks. Uh, Come September 1st is when I'm going to uh, start dropping content for it. Okay. So just keep an eye out for it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm going to drop the information on the Instagram so you guys can go follow the uh, the Instagram page. You can go to the YouTube, wherever, you know, find it. I'm going to even have a TikTok and uh, everything just ready for it. So be on the lookout. That's funny because you about to go ahead and drop that podcast and you already... We already picking up steam on this podcast. You know what I'm saying? When bro, we just stand consistency is key. Oh yeah. Shoot. Uh Super Duper Sean about to drop an album in September. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You about to launch a podcast. Hey, straight up over here, we we booming. 
We booming on straight booming. Boom, you boom. know what I'm saying? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Shout out to Super <laughs> Duper Sean. You know what I'm saying? We miss you, bro. He couldn't make it today, but we're going to hold it down for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yeah, bro. Um, There's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. And while y'all got the little, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and also crash your podcast, too. Oh, yeah. For you sure. know what I'm saying? For Me sure. and Super sure. Sean, we're going to be over there to go ahead and make an appearance on the, on the, uh, the Bros Podcast. I almost said the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me keep that quiet, though. So, but, uh, yeah. So, life is life in. Life is life in. And this is in real life, right? Hey, yeah. Put that on a shirt and sell it. Let's go. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and tap into the story of in real life. So, if you are familiar with this situation, and we talked a little bit about it. And I know how you feel about it, but you can go ahead and go on a small little rant about it. Man. Uh, break it down for the people. What is an NPC? Man, an NPC, if you guys don't know, is a non-playable character. For example, if you ever play any type of games like Final Fantasy, RPG games, uh, even Call of Duty games, like when you have those... Those characters that are on the sidelines and you do stuff, you walk up to them, you talk to them, and they have to say the same thing over and over again. They make the same motions, and that's all they do. They just they have a script, and they follow that script, and that's all they do. That's an NPC. Now, what's going on right now, if you guys are on TikTok, if you guys are on Instagram, you guys know there's a couple people out here, and it's becoming a big thing now with people up there. And it's a acting, trend. It's a, it's a huge trend, and they're acting like NPCs and making bank off of it. Yeah. Are you familiar with the person that's making this trend popular? Yes. Very familiar. And uh, uh, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm over it. Do you know her name? I do not know her name. I know her face, though. <laughs> we all know her face. Her name is Pinky Doll. Pinky Doll. Pinky Doll Pinky is Doll. her name. Yeah. So, Pinky Doll decides that she's going to go ahead and go up on TikTok and she's going to play an NPC. Mm -hmm. She says the same thing over when people donate certain emojis to you. Yep. Yep. Are you familiar with the producers that uh, that donated to her live? No. So everybody is donating and it is looked at as a kink. Mm. That's fair. Yeah, understandable. If I do this, I can control you. Yeah. These people are... Okay. They crazy. Mm -hmm. So, Pinky Doll says the same thing over. Yeah. And a lot of people giving her backlash for this right now, which I can't knock her for doing something that she's not showing anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she's she didn't already made like up to $7,000 yeah. in just one stream doing this. And people's goal is to try and break her out of character of doing it. Yeah. But they, they can't catch her up. This yeah. girl done went hours doing this. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would, too, if I'm making $7,000 in, uh, in donations and whatnot. So, here's the thing. It's crazy because she's not the one. She's not the first person to do this on TikTok. Mm. There's another girl, and I cannot remember her name, but about a month ago, uh, this is before she even, about a month ahead, before she even was known, there was this girl from Japan. She literally put on cat ears, and she was doing the same exact thing. And people were popping in there. Like, she wasn't speaking zero English. And I saw people from everywhere. I seen people speaking French in there, people speaking Spanish, people speaking English, people speaking Japanese, Chinese, everything in those comments. And all she was doing, she was up there, and every time someone donated, she was like, meow, and she just went like this. And that's all she was doing the whole time. Just NPC stuff the whole time, making bank. bank. And then, you know, a couple people saw that. I guess she saw that, and she's like, oh, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Yes. So, check this out. Let me stay on topic. Timbaland, the producer, has even tapped in on do donating to her. She went crazy for Timbaland. Hmm. If you're familiar with the dude ATL Jacob. ATL Jacob produced for Future, yep. Lil Dirt, Lil Baby, all of these guys. A few podcasts has also talked about it, but she going crazy. Oh, yeah. But you want to know the crazier part about this? What? So she's making money off of this. Mm -hmm. She's an OF worker. <laughs> so is it a form of culture vulture? 
she did this and then blew up her numbers doing that. Yeah. So now her OF is going crazy. Yep. And you know she getting it in. She thought on OF. I believe it. I and believe it. it. So is this a form of jacking the culture or the anime or cosplay culture? Um, I would say no. Um, I would say in a sense it is um it's a form of it's a form of cosplay. Um not one that I'm a fan of. Um, but I mean Some people find it annoying. Yeah, some people find it some people enjoy it. And at the same with that same aspect, uh some people in the cosplay community are not uh fans of like furries and vice versa. But at the same time they're not jocking the thing, you know, it's 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 there's different there's different aspects, different genres, and this just happens to be one that's uh trending right now. Um <laughs> like the crazy part about it is as far as I can as much as I don't want to see it, I can see this last scene for quite a while because Wow because the way things work, it's if you think of um like anime characters in general when they have the uh the they're literally NPCs. When they'll make the three D models, they'll be in front of like a little screen or something and then like in Japan they'll have them on a screen. And then you push certain things and they interact a certain way. And people will replay those games over and over again. And then having an uh, actual living person doing the same thing, it just puts another uh, uh, another uh, um, layer onto it. So pe I feel like, yeah, unfortunately, this is going to last until literally people stop donating to it, which I don't see people doing anytime soon. As long as you have somebody that's interested in this, there's going to be donations and people are going to keep going and more and more people are going to jump on this train. Well, they had a black dude in a hoodie in a garage dressed up as Spider-Man. I saw that. <laughs> How I saw did that. you feel about that one? Uh, I got to get these flowers to Uncle Ben. <laughs> man, I saw, I saw that one and then I, I went to his page I was like, man. No, it burned. And then, gonna... <laughs> uh, cause I was just going, I was just scrolling and then he pops up and I was like, here we go. And then I watch it. <laughs> and then it was funny because in the comments, people were like, you don't, you're, you're, you're not him. You're not Spider-Man. He's like, I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. I was like, no, you're not. You're not. <laughs> like, you don't even look like him. Anymore. It was like, you don't I am Miles like Morales and Miles Morales is me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, man, they like, <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody said, uh, they called him, uh, 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 kilometer out uh, kilometer jones or something what i was like i was like not kilometer like he's not miles he's kilometers no he's kilometer jones i was like i was like man. kilometers <laughs> kilometers yeah kilometers yeah <laughs> call, call him kilometer kilometers jones I was kilometers like, jones not miles morales i was like man that's nasty work but yeah you said the trend is annoying i'm i'm over the trend understood I'm so over that trend and yeah, that that's that's what breaks off this real life thing, man. People want to be um, computer generated Sims characters in real life, and bro, they're getting banged. I know another little thing that was just going on. It's a it's a girl that goes on to uh, Twitch, and she's made three million in a month. Mm. They're paying to watch her sleep. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's been a thing for a while now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, we are in the wrong field. What are we not? Why are people donating bread to the most craziest things? Remember how? Uh, Ain't we in a recession? <laughs> you know, like what? Remember how a while ago I was talking about how anime is in that that isekai era? Yeah. Like if we're in an era right now, it's definitely the AI era. We're definitely in the uh, artificial intelligence era. Um, it started a while back. It didn't just start as far as we have people who stream. Yeah. And they stream, when they stream, they stream as uh, their avatar. Their avatar is their main, their, their main thing. So instead of seeing that person there, you're seeing a cartoon character. And the cartoon character's mouth moves within the body moves within. They have little things on. So yeah. you're looking at the character. You're not looking at them. And it pretty much started a little bit before that, but that's mainly that that breaking point where we started going towards the AI era. And now we're fully immersed, immersed in the in. AI era right now. And it was funny because a few months ago, we did have that same um, 
we had an artist. We had a black artist. Uh, was it? Yeah, we had a black artist that got signed by Capitol Records. Remember that? Yep. And he lost that deal. Yep. It was a whole AI thing. Yep. We were talking about it. We had gorillas that got signed. Yep. Gorillas never lost their deal. Nope. But, I, man, it took me forever to find out gorillas wasn't real. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But, man, this AI stuff is going crazy right it now. It really is. And I'm surprised, because speaking of that, I'm surprised the gorillas haven't came out with a new album since then, because... And what's they make good right music. Now? Yeah, what's I don't know what's stopping right now. Right now, Gorillas literally this will be the they'll, perfect time. They'll be on top. They'll come back with a vengeance. Like man, man, but that's crazy. Um, shout out to the Gorillas. Gorillas, <laughs> <laughs> the Gorillas. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're the only people that's gonna get the you know what I'm saying the air and the main from us. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. It is what it is. Yeah, man. I'm talking to every fan, every man. And where I sit is kind of heavy, man. Woo! It's getting hot like Serengeti, man. You know me? Sit back and listen to Straight Boomin'. Yeah, man. What can I say? From anime to the different games we play. Gosh. I just want you guys to really check out Straight Boomin'. Gosh, if you really want your latest coverage of DBZ. Right? Yeah, man. You know? Or if you're going to talk about what happened in the news with rap music. Yeah, man. It's just, it's different. Gosh, I love it. About to go listen. You have on a do-rag, a straw hat, a custom shirt. Yo. You want to do a fit check right quick so Bruh. let let the people see Bruh. how you coming right quick? Bruh. What is this? This right here, this is from our, uh, one of my homies from I uh, met on TikTok, met at NY, Anime NYC. Uh, uh, they custom make these shirts. This is the Black uh, Straw Hat crew. You, yeah. got, you got everybody up there. Uh, except Jimbe, he's the only one that's not up here yet, but it's already been made. Uh, yeah, he's not up there yet, but trust me, it's already been made. This Ooh. is an older one. This is one of the originals when Ooh. it was dropped. Oh, jeez! Uh, shout out to shout out to uh, Say the Kid. Uh, they're the ones who make these right here. Um, if you want to check their stuff out, uh, Say the Kid on all platforms. Hashtag uh, Black Straw Hat Crew. Come and, on, and you can find you can find all their stuff. They got a whole bunch of stuff. They're awesome, man, bro. He the only one that I know that can rock a straw hat with a do-rag and make it look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, that's what I'll be talking about. You be jumping out the window. You be jumping out the window with the creativity and getting yours on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you handling business, bro. Stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Around here. Speaking of standing on business, One Piece this week is 26 years old. Shout out to One Piece, man. Yep. One Piece. How does it feel to know that Luffy is 26 years old? Man, it, it, it's crazy thinking about it because that means there's some people out here that literally been watching One Piece since they was a baby. That means when they, since they, One Piece is older than some of these anime fans out here. I could be talking about you right now. That's crazy. That, that is just crazy to think about that. Like, I remember watching One Piece after like after school. I I like it would come on and I would watch it, but I wasn't really I wasn't really invested in it back then as much. But I would like watch it. So like when it first came out, I was all on it. I was all on it, and then I was like, man, it's still going. And then uh, yeah. um, I come back a couple years later, and it's still, it's still going. going. And then like like I said, for a lot of people, for the people who don't know, I personally watch One Piece. And I watch it for uh, two weeks straight. And that's all the only anime I watch for two weeks. And then I drop it for like six weeks. Mm. And then I do it again. Maybe not, well, probably like probably like six months. Let's be honest. And I drop it for like six months. And then I binge it for like two weeks. And then when I binge it, and I say that's all I watch. That's I, all I get like watch. I get like two, three hundred episodes in. And then I don't watch it again for until I'm like, you know what? I'm going to watch it again. And I'll watch it for two weeks. And it's about six to eight, maybe almost a year sometimes. But you know, I I come back and I watch it, and right now I'm I'm in the eight hundreds, so I'm I'm almost fully caught up. Next time I sit down, then yeah, I'll be right back at the top. So that is crazy, and that's a nice little way to um 
that's a nice little way to do your catching up of the anime. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because like I said, with a giant, with the anime giant like that, a lot of people, including myself, they get deterred and want to go oh, ahead. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Oh, I ain't going to do it. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm straight on that. But yes, One Piece turned 26 years old this week. And they also uh, had a cover that just came out. Sure did. With Luffy hugging someone. Yeah. Now who was Luffy hugging? Luffy was hugging Luffy. But pause. <laughs> pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Luffy was hugging who? Luffy was hugging the live action version of himself. Alright, that sounds better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A no, lot of self love it, going it, on. Yeah, he was still hugging himself. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Pause. He, you know what look, that? he was hugging the IRL version of himself. IRL. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so yeah, he was hugging the IRL version of himself to celebrate the the live action film that's coming. Yeah. So Oda. Is really invested into this 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 live action. Piece. He is. He is. Like this is this. So one of my main things is we all say this. We all say this all the time. And I mentioned this last time. Uh, uh the reason why the the spider the new Spider Man movies with Miles Morales are doing so well is because they're animated and not live action. Because there's things they can do in the animated versions that they can't do in the live actions. Mm. Now the fact that Oda is putting his name on this and everything like that, and he's fully invested in this, this is going to be that final stand to let us know if a live action can actually be made good. Because, don't get me wrong, there's some live actions that are good, but can it really live up to what we see on the screen as far as the animated versions because now that we have someone who literally is this this is his child and he's putting it on the screen for uh to be live like all this with real people if this doesn't work then we know that this is not a thing and we yeah. can just go ahead and be like you know what we'll never get exactly what we want well you know how that is but we'll never get that perfect mix yeah. If this doesn't work. So this right here is that, that final stand. Like if it doesn't work, we know. If it works, then there's a it's it's a new pillar. And you have to hit that pillar or else you don't make it. Wow. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna stay right there. <sighs> Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball, I'm sorry. In 2008, with that horrible movie, was the flying Nimbus supposed to be that yellow Mustang? You want to know? <laughs> you want to you know? One of, you want to know one of my uh, biggest oh, bragging points is? What's happening? That fact, you didn't go see the it? fact that I've never actually watched that movie. Yo, is one of my biggest bragging points. Like when that movie dropped. I wasn't, I couldn't watch it. And then everyone was said it was so bad. It was like a month later. And I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to watch it. I've wow. seen trailers. I've seen pictures. I've seen clips. But I've never watched that full movie. And guess what? I never will. I, I never will. It was so bad. They made, they made Akira Toriyama go back in the studio and create Dragon Ball Super. Beers was created because that movie tanked. You wanna you wanna what's, what else is crazy about that? <laughs> so the guy that played Piccolo, the guy that played Piccolo was a Dragon Ball fan. Yep. They had a whole nother idea to go with some of the stuff, and he's like, nah. He's like, nah. We gotta fix this at least. So the stuff that they did get close to right or right was because it was fixed. They were originally not gonna do that, so it was gonna be even worse than what it is. That is crazy. Yeah. And in the put and to put that live action film all the way out there the way that they did. Man. They they did a, that promotion was ridiculous, and to be fumbled that bad, horrible. That is a stain that uh, Akira Toriyama would never get off his jacket. Nope. That is what happens when you leave things in other people's hands. Yeah. 
And I guess Oda seen that. <laughs> and he said, not, not my baby. Yeah, because uh, Oda and uh, Toriyama are actually really, really good friends. And they, they've they done odes to each other multiple times on different occasions. Um, they, they're, they're really, really good friends. And the fact that he's probably like, he's like, look, bro. Don't I do what, what I happened. did. I seen what happened with Joe's. I don't want it. And he's like, yeah, you're smart because I'm not, I'm not getting rid of that. You don't want that one piece on you. You don't want it. Nah, you don't want that one piece on your one piece, if you know what I mean. That's a fact. Oh, <laughs> oh, and and that, and, and that was and that was another thing because you know uh, a few months ago we did get them fake articles that came out mm -hmm. talking about how everything went wrong, but then the following week, uh, it was rectified. They got a statement from Oda, and Oda said, "No, this is not coming out yeah. without me green lighting it." Mm -hmm. So to have he's not giving anyone no creative control. I don't blame him because if it was my baby, I'd do the same thing. And I and I understand that. I'ma sit down and watch the whole movie several times before I'd be like, "All right, this is." Oh, you gonna really pick it apart? Yep, it, it'll be done, and I'll watch it. Be like, nah, we need to fix this. Bring it right back. <laughs> you know, and um, that movie gonna end up being like 15 minutes because I'm gonna take everything out. Nah, nah. Yo, hey, y'all got y'all got a mini movie. Y'all got a short story. <laughs> y'all got a short story. Sell it to Netflix. <laughs> but no, you know what? Shout out to One Piece for turning 26 years old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been amazing. Y'all are definitely doing y'all thing. I Like I said, I don't care what nobody says. The machine is definitely behind One Piece right now with oh, yeah. all the deals that they got going on. Oh, yeah. And it was also stressed that no real human in real life has been on the Shonen Jump's cover. I, there's been there's been a couple in a long time yeah, it's been a long time there's been a there's been a couple but it's been a really long time it's been a really long time they're dropping that bag for one piece and it's very disrespectful that it's two luffy's on the cover that is crazy if y'all don't remember well at, at my top my top three most hated characters luffy is one of them that is correct oh are we about to get some luffy hate i'm not a luffy fan I'm not. Luffy. I will admit, as the season progressed, my my dislike towards the man has retracted. Retracted just a little bit. Retracted. Just a little bit. But because he was number one on my list, now he's number three. That means Luffy has definitely came with some character development. I wouldn't say character development. I would say he just. No, he didn't. I was gonna Dang. say he did, I was saying he did <laughs> less stupid things. Um, so, if you guys don't know, uh, Luffy is a flat character. Um, another flat character would be Goku. And one thing is, when a show runs as long as it runs, a flat character is what's going to keep it running that long. That's why Dragon Ball is still going. That's why One Piece is still going. Naruto didn't continue because Naruto is not a one a flat character. So. The way if, if their character, every, the way a show has to work, characters have to develop. And if you notice, every character around Goku, every character around Luffy, every character around any of the main characters in any show, they develop. As long as the main character, though, Goku and Luffy, the only thing they do is get stronger. They're the same person as they were at the very beginning as they are now. They just got stronger. Dang, but GD even changed. Yep. And that's what happens because... That's what keeps it going because as long as that character doesn't change, you can keep watching because eventually it's going to get stale if it's a character. Like if Vegeta was the main character, we would have started as this villain saga, then he would have became neutral, then he became good. There's nothing left for him to do at that point. He's just good. Right. Now you have Goku. Goku's all Goku's always gonna get something happening in some way, doing something dumb. Like, for instance, he made the, the tournament, tournament of power. Tournament of power. Because why? Because he likes to fight. He didn't. He what when he first came in, he likes to fight. Now he hasn't. If you look at it, Luffy and Goku, both black characters, haven't changed since the very first, since the first episode. The only things that have changed is their power ups and the way they look at certain things. But at the same thing, their morals and their goals core, their core values, their core values still the same. Still the same. That is crazy. Well, speaking about you know uh, changing and whatnot. Let's get off into uh, Bleach.
Let's do it. You didn't you, you didn't you didn't see the first few episodes? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So 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 my man's my man's with the big the big beads around his neck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put Ichigo in the little you dig, man, and told him, hey, you still need to train. Yep. What 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 do you think about man. these two episodes coming up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh started off already. Man, I'ma say this, like Ichigo <laughs> it it Ichigo literally he's like, all right, got the got got his new Bankai. I'm about to go holler at my he's man. Like, he's like, I'm about to go back. They need my help. He's what like, is his name? Hold on, wait. I'm about to get his name. Uh, I'm about to get his name. Uh, no, no, hold on, no, 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 no. We going back to the tablet. I'm about to get his name. No, we getting his name. We getting his name right here, right now. That's it. We 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 got to do it. Hey, right now, pause that video right now. If y'all know the name, type the name in right now. Leave us a comment. We gonna do this. We gonna we gonna do this. We gonna do it's this. It's easier to write it than it is to say it for me. Oh my god. We 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 gonna we're no nah, bro. We we doing this. We're doing this. We're we're doing this. In his name. His name is uh Wow. You what? You what? He said he's about to go fight you what? Yep. And dude's like, if you fought that man right now, you would definitely not win. And he's like, what? What do you mean? I got my bankai. I'm ready. He's like, nah. You still got training to do, my boy. <laughs> That's a fact. And he said, he said, it you go, oh. But now the word is, they're not sure the outcome that Ichigo has with with this journey that he's about to go on. Mm -hmm. So they goes back to Earth yep. and tell his friends, hey, here's some passes. Here's some Drake backstage passes. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and like, and it's like, here's, here's some uh, backstage passes. Uh, he might not be coming back to Canada ever again. That's a <laughs> fact. They said, it's like, he's, he's, he's got his farewell tour. He's coming to Canada. Here's his passes. You can come see him in the U.S., but he said he's done with Canada. He's done with he, Canada. He said he's going to rep He's gonna rep the six, but he ain't coming, coming back. He ain't never coming back to the six. And the dude's like, you mean he's not coming back? And he's like, whoa. He said there's a possibility he might not come back. There you go. But yeah. Mm. Just because they, he... Uh, uh, he might. He, they say he might get so strong with the fact that he can't come back to the living world because it'll just disrupt everything. Boy, that plot armor is serious. But, and I mean, in the long run, you think about it. If that was the case, uh, um, half the people that are in the living world wouldn't be able to be be there because you got you got how many captain levels just running around yeah, and, and gee guy. This Just give that man a gee guy and make him stand as gee guy while he's in the living room. He'll be fine. That's a like, fact. Like even his dad was chilling in the gee guy for years. So I mean, come on. Hey, hold on. They did have a pause moment up there too. So what was what's my man name with the glasses? Uh, Uriu. Uh, Uriu. Uriu. What was he doing? He was having you walk do what? Uh, uh, what walk his powers. By doing what? What was he doing? He he, took, he was he doing took, some questionable stuff he, up there. He took a, a drink of some juice. Of some juice. Or some juice. What 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 juice? You... <laughs> Quit drinking out the bowl. Yeah, he had, he had the, <laughs> the the liquids of his uh, forefathers. What, what is that? <laughs> that is. What are y'all on? What are y'all on? Y'all really <laughs> put that? Yo. Hey, get your man. Hey, that's get. how you unlock your Quincy powers. <laughs> Guess what? I'm not he a Quincy. Was sipping on this I'm not a Quincy. What? I'm not a Quincy. I ain't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I hold on, wait. <laughs> that's about what he did right there. Oh no! That's about what he did right there. Hey, hey, man, who do you left no drops? You're nasty, fam. 
You're nasty. Did, did you see? Did you see the smirk on his face when he drunk it too? Now he mm. <laughs> he enjoyed <laughs> it in front of your wife. In front of no, your wife. No, he was the one who said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's nasty. Like, you saw the mustache quiver a little bit. I was like, uh -uh. he had the Steve Nash milk mustache. Get the. <laughs> I'm done. You walk, you nasty. Who do you? You nasty. Hey, he said, he said, I want that power, man. Ooh. Give, me that, give me that power, man. He was scratching like Pookie. Give, give me that power, man. He, he was scratching like this one more, man. I, I got these two cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> I just need that double <laughs> <up>, man. <laughs> you got these what? You got them what? You got them. I got them cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> Look, I'm done. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. So, so. Bringing it back, y'all know we like to have fun up here. Okay. So, yo, what you so far? I know what you go ahead and tell the people what you're waiting on. Just tell, Man. tell, tell them what you're waiting on, bro. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for so much, but I'm waiting for the Kampachi. Kampachi is a Rocky. Kampachi, Kampachi is playing a major role in this. Um, Man, I just can't look without ruining it. I just can't wait to uh, Kampachi drop off the trash, man. Oh man, he's gonna drop off the trash, and it's gonna be nasty, man. It's gonna be vicious. It's, it, oh man. Okay, okay. You know, so hey, and that right there is a small little teaser of what we're gonna really get off into when we get the deep dive into the uh, part two of the Blood War special. You know what I'm saying? Which you're going to be able to find that on Patreon. Yep. Not going to lie to you. So, some more stuff that came out. Boruto has finally revealed it's coming back in September. Yep. But also, not only that it's coming back in September, it then revealed this new name. What is the new name of the Boruto series? Minato. <laughs> That's going backwards, homie. That's going backwards. <laughs> nah, they uh they dropped they dropped the uh Naruto Next Generations. Um so it looks like it's just gonna be Boruto. Um but it's um the manga one or are we talking about the, the anime? The anime. The anime. So um uh, the time skip is going to be uh, two blue vortex. Now, I was just stating the last podcast that the Rasengan mm -hmm. had a lot of uh, weight in that series. Yeah. Can you say that the Rasengan is part of, is the vortex <coughs> of chakra? Mm -hmm. Could I you? You, I mean, yeah, that, that, yeah, I could say, I would say, yeah, that could be part of it. I'm so tired of that. that, that <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you. Boy, you tired of a lot of stuff today, boy. Man, you I, said, <laughs> I, cause I, honestly, if a, if a uh, villain comes in, they know how to stop that. It's over. It's over. It's over. Cause Naruto don't got nothing else. Boruto got a little bit, but you know, that's like, it's, it's over after that. And, and and let's let's go ahead let's unpack this a little bit yep. because the way that the series started off, which had everybody on the edges of their seat, they introduced <coughs> Boruto mm -hmm. already with his time skip. Yep. Oh, yep. Already. And then they had him fighting Kawaki. Yeah. No one knew what Kawaki's name was at the time. Nope. But we also thought that Kawaki was also a bad guy. Yeah. When fighting him. Yep. What if we took that first scene that they showed us out of context? What if Kawaki was doing exactly what he was supposed to be doing? Yeah. And stopping Boruto, <coughs> who yeah. could have possibly been Boroshiki right there. Yeah, very true. What, what you think? Yeah, very true, very true. I mean, yeah, because like coming in, you only you're gonna automatically assume that you know Boruto's son is the good guy, and whoever he's fighting is the bad guy. So like going into that, yeah, you would like there's nothing that would make you be like, oh, Boruto's gonna get back. 
Boruto's a bad guy here. Like, that's like going into the next season. Let, let's like for for example, if they started uh, Dragon Ball, one of Dragon Ball Super scenes, and you have, uh, and they started off with Goku Black. Yeah. And then Goku Black's out here fighting somebody. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, they did something wrong. But why is Goku being so savage right now? You're not gonna be like, oh yeah, Goku's in the wrong there. You're gonna be like, oh what what did they do to Goku? You're not gonna think, oh yeah, this is not Goku. This is the bad guy. That's the fact. Like man, Goku had a whole train of clothes. <laughs> I like the gi. I like the blank gi better. But <clears throat> if you all are familiar, prior to Boruto ending, Kawaki was protecting Naruto at all costs. Yes. And when I say at all costs, spoiler alert. Boruto and Kawaki had an agreement. Yep. If Boroshiki took over his body and things got real bad, you have the permission to kill me. Yep. Kawaku, as a stepchild, as a stepbrother, <laughs> agreed. Yep. He's going to go ahead and handle business. And he stood on business. Yep. And, um,. It put Naruto in a hard spot. It put Naruto in a hard spot. Yep. I look at you as my son, Kawaki, but that's my blood. Yep. I would agree that that would make Kawaki feel mm -hmm. some type of way. Oh, yeah. Because he never knew what love was. Mm -mm. He never experienced how to have a family either. Yeah. And I never knew that Naruto was playing the stepdad. <laughs> yeah. It's a first for everything. But it really put Naruto in between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, I mean, he was, he's been in that spot for a minute. And, you know, uh, Naruto's always been that person that uh, um, it, 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 good is going to come out of this. Good is going to come out of this no matter what. He's always seen the good in everything and always expected for the best to happen at the end. It's always been Naruto's thing. And they're like, hey, we know he's in there. We should just kill him now. And he's like, no. He'll be fine. We're not going to kill him now. And he's been sitting on that for a minute. Yes, he has. So they literally told him, like, hey, it's best we put the, put your son down now. And he's like, no. No. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm Hokage. My word goes. He's not dying. You're not getting rid of my son. No. So, and, you know. And, that, and, and that's a fact. Yeah. So with Naruto coming to a close, Boruto, it, um... Taking on the baton. Yeah. We had it. Naruto. I mean, we had it. Boruto. Naruto's next generation. Boruto has decided to drop that. Naruto's generation. And become its own brand. Yep. With this two blue vortex. I don't know what this actually means. But. I, this is what everybody wanted. Yeah. And it's been five years already. I feel like it's. Uh. uh it's more or less about the the clash between brothers. Oh, clash between brothers and the attacks because both of them have that blue attack, you know. So I feel like karma. Yeah, so I feel. I feel like yeah. I feel. I feel like it's a little bit deeper than like the yeah. eyes, the uh, attack, like the, the. I don't know. I just feel like something. There's something else behind it that we haven't realized yet. Okay. Well. Um. Also, with that being said, they also showed the character design mm. for your girl. Yeah. What is your take on the the new design of Sarada? As a design, I I like the design. As a practical design, as in the fighting and stuff like that, we haven't seen the full form, full uniform. I've seen like. Uh, a fan art of it and stuff like that. Right. I don't like the the tube top. The tube top just doesn't make sense in the, in the Naruto world. Like the jacket is clean. Uh, I like what they did. The glasses a little bit thinner. They they cut her hair. I mean, I would have liked to see her hair a little bit longer. Um, the jacket is uh, uh, it's that black and red with the red stripes going down the side. That that's clean. That's clean. You know, I might have to uh, get me a jacket similar to that. You know, I'll have to go ahead and. Grab me the the, the new uh, the new Akatsuki, not the new Akatsuki, the new uh, uh, um, Uzumaki. 
grab the new Uzumaki jacket. Go ahead and put the Which, logo on the back. Yeah, and yeah. Um, but yeah, it, the jacket is definitely tough. Um, the little the choker. I mean, I don't. I don't have a love hate for the choker. I kind of like the choker. Choker. It, it, it kind of fits. Um, because it's giving her a more uh, modern slash. Uh, I do my own thing, but at the same time, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be me, but at the same time, I'm trying to live my, you know, it just, it, it, it's that punk rock slash emo. Yeah. Punks, punk rock slash emo look. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I I like Sarda. I mean, I like Sarda. Sarda. And, uh, I hope that she can come with some, some, some bold attacks. Oh, you course. know what I'm saying? I really want her to start unlocking her chakra mark mm -hmm. and mix it with the Uchiha. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tomos. And I, and I hope coming back off of the time skip that, that she can really have a, a a decent fighting scene. Oh, yeah. Because a lot more uh, Kara uh, members is going to pop up. Oh yeah, and uh, I have not even watched none of Boruto, <laughs> uh, but I know a lot. Yeah, so uh, we're looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. I want to know the meaning behind the two blue vortexes. I know that Naruto oh, yeah. has a, a a white eye with the blue in it. Yeah. With the blue in it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that's supposed to be called, but uh, yeah. Let's 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 get to the meat and potatoes, and uh, I hope that they, cause like I said, when the second part of Naruto started, that's when all the real fights really actually popped off. Oh yeah, and we need that format again, cause that is what had us locked in. And man, look, we we want to see more of that. So I'm glad y'all dropped the Naruto name because you in your own right of your own entity. Yeah, congratulations with that. But also, stay true to the fighting format because that's where you had so much success. Last week, you mentioned something about Itachi. Can you bring that back up? Yeah, so uh, Itachi is, uh, there's word that he's going to be reincarnated. Uh, so he's coming back in the Boruto, which I, so there, there's been uh, like fan dubs and stuff like that. And they look Chris. I know they're not going to follow that, but they have brought... Uh, Jiraiya and Itachi both back. And oh, that'd be not, nasty. Not, Naruto uh, was interacting with Jiraiya like they went face to face, and then uh, Sadara and uh, Itachi were face to face, and they they both were having a conversation. That and they, I know they're not going to do it exactly like that, but if they do, please. If they do, but yeah. So, okay, you know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to Boruto, man. Um. What is next on the list, bro? What we got? Uh, we got uh, Disney confirms Tokyo Revengers new arc and on Hulu. Tokyo Revengers. I've been, man, I've been waiting for this next season. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie. This is one of the anime that I haven't watched the manga for. Yeah. I mean, read the manga for. So I'm pretty much strictly anime on this one. Anime and only. I am excited for this because they leave you with such a cliffhanger and it's felt like it's been like five years it felt like since the last season so i am excited and i am ready i am so ready for this next season to happen all right if you like to experiment news website deadline reports on sunday that disney plus confirms that it will stream the tokyo tokyo revengers uh ting ting gichi ten jiku arc um uh Tokyo Revenger oh anime the latest arc in the anime ad ad adaptation come on um Tokyo of Tokyo Revengers manga uh the company did not specify which region however the US Hulu of which Disney owns the majority streams the Tokyo Revengers anime instead of Disney Plus you know what uh that is definitely going to give uh a big look to Tokyo Revengers. Mm -hmm. You already know Disney has the bag, so they yeah. definitely are going to drop the bag. Tokyo Revengers is popular. Remember, we was just talking in the very second episode of the rebrand. They was game banging in other lands. Yep. 
with the Tokyo Revengers game. This is crazy. Yeah. And they also have a Tokyo Revengers game coming out as well on all yeah. platforms as yeah. well. So they're definitely making big moves. I would not be surprised if they gave this to Hulu or Disney to go ahead and fund the new game that they have coming out to keep it moving. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That'll be a good look. But you said you're anime only on Tokyo um, Revengers. Anime only on Tokyo Revengers. But one of the things that I got to say is when Di like here's the thing Disney got so much money just to throw like Man. if Disney's coming for something and then there's anyone else coming for it they you, gonna... then you 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 fight an up uphill battle for it at this point. That's like, a fact. Now the only reason why people are going to bid for anything like that is just so uh get get Disney to use more money so they can get something else. Yeah. At this point like you're like man I'm a, I'm going to keep bidding until I can't bid no more just so Disney has to spend more money on it. Man. That's the only thing that makes sense at this point. And I'm trying to tell you like I said Disney is definitely trying to get their hands in the anime world. They got their hands in the NBA. Yep. They have their hands they have their hands in so much content. So much. Uh Star Wars. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fam, like what what is Disney not trying to touch? I mean, they got part of Spider Man too. That's why you only see so much with going on with Spider Man. This is crazy. Most they got most of the Marvel universe and they keep eating more of it each time. So, you know, eventually we're gonna see Mickey in a Marvel movie. I, <laughs> hey, I am not mad if I see Goofy come in on on some Bruh, like I said, I wasn't really too sold on those games when they first came out on PlayStation 2. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. I was not sold until I played it. Kingdom Hearts Kingdom was Hearts just fired. Oh, Kingdom my Kingdom God. Because I did not take Mickey, Goofy, and Sora seriously, bro. bro I thought the same thing until I ah. turned that game on. My PlayStation... And then I turned that thing on. I was playing. I was hooked. Oh, when Bro, you yeah, I was. Over. When you was over. walk was away, was you won't hear me say, "Please, oh baby, yep. don't go." Bro, when I was sipping, man, I remember I was in napping, two thousand and eight. Bro, you know the boss battles get real when you gotta stand up on the sticks, yep. bro. I was fighting Sephiroth, and Ooh. he, bro, I was fighting Ooh. Sephiroth. And it was going down in the living room. Bro, man. I start. I was playing. I was like, uh, me, 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 me. Then he turned up on me. I start getting up. Me, 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 me. I said, oh. Man. Defeated that boy and got that sword, bro. It was bro. all she wrote. Bro, it's it's playing. Man, playing that game, bro. Like, you just. that That's, man. I. I, I can't even get the words out right now. That game, fighting them <laughs> bosses, man. When you, beat, when you beat them bosses, you're just like, yeah. To this yeah, day. Yeah. To this day. And the thing is, you fought this man. You fought these characters probably like 30 times and lost. You beat them one time. One time. Yeah. One what time. One now? What now? Straight but, up. Well, you, if I had to fight him one more time again, you probably lose. But you beat that one time. One now, time is now all you the man. I'm, I'm so serious. <laughs> look, look, look. Be so happy when the, when the boss battle was over. Saving data. Yep. Yep. And don't have to fight it. Look, don't have to fight another form afterwards. Look, you beat one form, they change you're like, oh man. Bro. Oh man. Bro, <laughs> you ever you ever start fighting a boss and it gets so lucky, bro, that you incidentally jumped and dodged an attack, bro, and that was the game changer. And that was the game changer, bro. bro no. <laughs> Here's the crazy part, right? You play the game for the first time, and then you get you beat a boss. And you beat the boss with ease, and you go back and you play the game again, and you can't beat this boss. You're like, this what? man was so easy. What What did I do the first time? The I can't first time. time, bruh. I'm like, man, I that's feel the like, worst. I feel like so, man. Shout out to who am I gonna shout out on this? Hey, one? shout out to Sora, Goofy, Donald, Mickey. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Riku. You yeah. already know. There you go. You know what I'm saying? The rest of y'all, y'all can, you know, you can get it. So, you know, you know, I shout out to Hey, you. you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Tokyo Revengers for getting the bag off Disney. You know what I'm saying? We don't rock with Disney. We just rock with what they doing. I'm not rocking with Disney like that, but, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them for, uh, coming out with the, um, you know, Kingdom Hearts, and we definitely need a new one. I know they, they they're working on it. I was about to say, they we wait, waited so long yep. for the newest one. 
And then yeah, y'all and y'all need to quit dragging y'all feet when it come to those Kingdom Hearts games. Man, you know, you know what I'm super hyped about in this one? What's happening? So her shoes fit. Oh, they so not big and clunky no they more. They not big no more. They fit. I'm so excited for this. Let's go, fam. He about to put the Nikes on. Hey, <laughs> he got the swooshes. gonna go ahead um segue into this man so speaking about getting notoriety you know what i'm saying in the shout outs we have attack on titan yeah. and my hero academia finally getting their flowers you know what i'm saying if you want to you can read these two and and, and let's talk about that the Hollywood Critics Association revealed that the nominations for the 2023 TV Awards on Tuesday, the My Hero Academia Anime Season Six, good one, and Attack on Titan, on Attack on Titan, the final season, the final chapters, special man, you know how many final counting. That's a fact. <laughs> special one are nominated under the best streaming animated series or TV movie category. They are competing against uh, Animaniacs, uh, Central Park, Harley Quinn, which I still have yet to see, but I need to watch it because I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan. Shout out in the comments if you're a Harley Quinn fan. Drop it in the comments. And uh, Star Trek, uh, Lord Dex. Um, and then Crunchyroll shared with ANN that the, the specific My Hero... Academia episode nominated for the category is Deku versus Class A. The season season's twenty third episode, the one hundred and thirty sixth overall episode of the entire series, due to the ongoing Writers Guild of American of America strike, the award the awards presentation has been delayed from August twelfth and thirteenth to dates to be determined. Okay, we're gonna leave it right there. Man, first off, man, look, pay what y'all owe. Please, creating these stories, creating content, you got to pay your voice actors. You have to pay your actors. You have to pay your actresses, your voice actresses. Y'all have to play, pay the writers. Y'all yep. are going to run out of content for TV real soon if y'all do not. And, and, and shout out to y'all giving old and 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 and, and um uh, recognition to the anime community. Mm -hmm. Yes, season six of My Hero Academia, one of the best. Yeah. Super Duper Shine said that as well. If I'm not mistaken, that's when they tried to come Operation Retrieve Deku mm -hmm. when he was out there on his vigilante stuff fighting. Yeah. Uh, also, season four. Of 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 Attack on Titan. Yeah. Everybody know that this went crazy. This was the final season, and y'all still not done with it, and y'all still giving it rewards. Crunchyroll named it in 2022 the anime of the year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing and 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 get these writers and write uh uh content creators and stuff back in these movies. Get mm -hmm. pay these people, man. We are in a recession. We are in a recession. Y'all want these big budget films and stuff to come out, and y'all want to pay pennies on the dollar, and that is just not how things are supposed to be. Please. I'm, I'm happy that you guys have done, you know what I'm saying, gave anime they flowers, but if y'all think that this was a way to be funny, we don't find it a joking matter. Because creating content weekly... For, for consumers, it's not easy. You have to produce. You have to shoot. You have to edit. You have to upload. You have to go ahead, engage. It's time consuming. It's a job. Pay these people for their creativity. Burn, you got anything to say about it? Man, I just want to, again, like I keep bringing this up. Uh, Come on. Shout out to uh, Laura Stahl because, man... Okay, I'm like I'm, when I make it, when I become a voice actor, you know. Let's go, Laura. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, Laura is one of my what like 
it, even when she's not giving me direct advice, it's still the somehow it just comes like what she's talking about. It just full comes circle. to me. It full circle. But um, she's like we. She was just talking about this literally what like four or five days ago, mm. and um, she was talking about how uh, uh, right now. Uh, um, this is not the time, like right now, we're going through all this stuff like that, and then they're trying on to strike. Get, yeah, you're on strike, and they're trying, and people, uh, they're trying to still hire people to do everything like that. And they're like, right now is the time to uh, <laughs> build your skill, <clears throat> get everything where you need to go, get your headshots, get all that stuff in order right now. Your portfolio, your portfolio. Don't work it. Uh, don't try to get any jobs right now. You will get. You will. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't even gonna say it. Don't yeah. even say it. But you already know if you will pick me right now. You won't get yep. picked later. You, they, they will not pick you up. They they will they will not. You will get you will get banished to the shadow realm. Straight up. Yep. That's a fact. Yep. And sure. and and man, you know, it, it, and that's a fact because burn you you've done modeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You've done modeling. You do have the talent. You're multi talented to to do these things. And um, man, what the the strike. Is very poor, and that's why we was talking about. That's why we was talking about the union. Mm -hmm. Voice actors and actresses need a union. Yes, y'all, um, creators, manga creators, mm -hmm. they, they are shooting in the dark, trying to hit a target. Yeah. Big corporations like Shonen mm -hmm. keep bringing these people in because they want another Demon Slayer. Yeah, they want another Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, they want another Bleach. They want another Chainsaw Man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And these people, they're burning out their brains with no compensation. And then you hear about these sad stories of them deleting themselves mm -hmm. or the they're poverty stricken. They yep. they they go broke. You know. Um, homeless, right. almost, if not having the couch surf. It's not funny. And after what we just heard about the Zordon thing, yeah, that is nasty. Yeah. Y'all sat up there and got one episode out the dude, paid him $150, and they made how much? A a, a B? Yeah. Saban made a who? An easy. A easy. easy billion? Saban, y'all tripping. They're Be still making money to this day. To this day. Off of the original Power Rangers. Bro, do you know I had the Power Ranger game for Sega Genesis? Me too. Yo, oh. oh my God. Yeah, I had the story one. I had the the uh, the the fighting one. I had them all. Like, seriously. All you know what I'm saying? That was our go-to. If it wasn't Power Rangers, it was Transformers. If it wasn't Transformers... It was X Men. If it wasn't X Men, it was Spider Man. If it wasn't Spider Man, it was Superman. If it wasn't Superman, it was Batman. And then so on. Therefore, boy, we was going through the motions. Yep. Like seriously, you you eighty eight, you eighty eight. I'm ninety, bro. We had the best childhood. What are y'all doing? The game is man. What do they call that? It started with a C. C A P, oh Capcom, no nope. oh. capitalism. Oh, <laughs> bro, I was gonna say yeah, I was all about Capcom. Hey, 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 they had all of them in there. Marvel bro. versus Capcom, yo, shout out to my Marvel versus hey. Capcom community. He said C A P Capcom came straight to mind. I know I was a gamer. That's how you know a gamer when you. Hey, that's that. Hey, that's, that's C A P Capcom. Capcom, Capcom. <laughs> shout out to Street Fighter. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah, capitalism, bro. It's the <laughs> biggest hustle. Bro, they out there, they getting to it, bro. Oh, and, and I'm not mad at it, man. I'm not mad at it, but like I said, bro, it's 2023, bro. Y'all know living conditions is getting out of control, and y'all can't pay pennies on the dollar. Y'all gonna have to get that up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of giving that up, you know, Shonen Jump. Also, they have a, uh, they have Another contest going on. They are throwing contests like crazy. I want to go ahead have you read this one, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 
Check that out. All right. Shonen Jump Plus Services launches an app version of the world of its World Makers storyboarding service in Japan on Wednesday, and it's uh, co-sponsoring co um, contest with Netflix and Toho. The app lets users, even those who can't draw, create thumbnails, layouts for manga or storyboards for animation, live action shows, movies, and commercials. And so it's funny because they would, I remember this, they were talking about this a while ago, um, a long time ago, and they were posting it on TikTok. And I was looking at it, and I was like, man, I'm excited for this to come out. And then, because uh, I would love to make something because my drawing skills ain't there. Mine is on point. But I could draw like a mug. But I'm like, yeah, because they, they're supposed to be making a whole app for it. So I guess this is, this is the app. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited for that, actually. But see, and this is the thing. They put a guise under it. Oh, we want to have a contest. We want all your creative juices. Yep. Because we're searching for the next big thing. Mm -hmm. And oh. So they can cheap change it. Come on, bro. It's a play. Yep. And then you're sitting up there. You need you need a uh, a union. Mm -hmm. Y'all find y'all selves on strike like the like the writers guild right now. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. And then they 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 don't want to pay you. It was another contest for Shonen Jump Plus uh, um, app. They just launched a vertical manga app. Mm -hmm. And they looking for some of the best one shots they can find. And if the winner, well, if they find a winner, they're going to pay him um, $7,000, which, which calculates to like a million in yen. Yeah. And, uh... A placement on their app. And then that's it. And after that, they're taking over. And they're going to take over. So, so y'all got to use y'all noodle. The, the owner of Squid Games sold their rights. Mm -mm. Sold their rights to Netflix. Yeah, you messed up. You messed up. Guess what? Guess how much they got? Guess how much they got for it? Not enough. A hundred K. Not enough. What did what did, what what did, what did, what did Squid Games do? More than a hundred K. Way more than Way more than a hundred K. Matter of fact, do you know how long it went viral? It was it was up there. Everybody yeah. them stream numbers was crazy. Everybody know about Squid Games. Even if you didn't watch it, you know about you knew about Squid Games. You knew about it. It was it was the next craze. Yeah. Matter, matter of fact, people been on uh Korean dramas. Yeah. People been on Korean dramas. It put them back on the map for real. It put them back on the map for real. And then Squid Games uh creator came back and they said, Oh, we're gonna come with the second sequel. And now we're hearing, and that was a year ago. Yeah. And now we're hearing this story. Oh, well, I didn't really make anything off of the first Squid Games because, you know. Uh, Netflix, they, 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 they bought the rights to it for only a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. You sold them that. Yep. You didn't play the long term game. No. Nope. They did. They got And you. they got the residuals from it. They got you. And guess what? When you decide to shop the second one or the sequel, you going to know better this time. That's the thing. And that's the reason why they said they want to make a second one because they're trying to make that money, but... The thing is, it'll never be as good the as the second one. Is not. It's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna. It, it's not gonna be as good. It's just not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna make what you made in that first one. That's a fact. Because it, it doesn't like even after watching it, the story doesn't make sense for him to go back. I mean, I understand why, but it just doesn't make sense for him to go back. I understand that. Was you know what? You better off trying to do something different yeah, all together. Just, just do something else. All, all together. Don't even go into that, guys. Because guess what? If you drop that, guess what they're going to end up doing? Going back to the first one. Yep. And you're going to give Netflix more money, huh? More money. If you, you know, because, that, look, just because you announced the second one, even if it does start to come out, guess what? You made Netflix more money. Exactly. Because what they're going to do? They're going to bring that one back up and make it, oh, watch, catch up. If you didn't watch it last time, rewatch. Guess yep. what? You just made them more money. Made them more money. So, man, shout out to you. Also, Super Duper Sean told me, not last podcast, but podcast before last, Netflix has the rights 
to Dragon Ball GT. Yes, yes they do. So what? What is your thoughts on that? Um, I, 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 trust me. Now, don't get me wrong. GT was done in a way. GT looked dingy to me. I'm not going to lie. GT looked dingy to me. But did I like the artwork? I did. I'm crying. Man, you ain't. You not tell me. Dingy. It looks dingy. Not. You dingy. ever seen? You ever seen somebody come with clean clothes but still look dingy, bro? Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> Come man, don't bro. play with me, bro. bro. What what so what do you think about that? Man, I had a love hate relationship with GT. Come on. Um one of my, my, my three favorite characters from Dragon Ball, uh Janimba. Come on. Goten. Okay. And Pan. Uh. I know y'all looking like what? Why those three? <laughs> yeah, I got the strongest one. Yo. Yep. I don't care what nobody says. Janimba is one of the strongest people in the Dragon Ball verse. Yeah. I don't care. Janimba's taking Jiren, taking Broly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I know he got cheated out of that. But anyway, um, the fact that <laughs> the fact that they brought Pan into the series, and Pan is literally what Goten and Trunks should have been. Um, but at the same time, they did them dirty too. Yeah. Like, I like the characters they've done, they've done dirty in the Dragon Ball franchise, obviously, clearly. Yeah. But um, she was she was supposed to go super. She was supposed to be the youngest Super Saiyan, which she is now in the in Super. But she was supposed to be the youngest Super Saiyan, and the reason why she was supposed to be the youngest Super Saiyan, the reason why she wasn't in GT, is because they like, oh, we don't know how to draw a female Super Saiyan, which was a cop out. Oh my that god! Was oh my god! <laughs> and then the story itself, like. And the story itself wasn't bad. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Super Saiyan 4, but hey, cool. Go get it, I guess. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I like aspects of it. Um, I like Rose better than Blue. Rose? I like Rose, Rose better than Blue. Rose ain't even. That's, this is a Super Saiyan 4, <laughs> man. That's like, that's like saying you like, you like uh, Trunks regular form better than Trunks Super Saiyan 2. What? Wait, you ain't about to disrespect Rose. You no, ain't disrespecting Rose. Hey, get, that pink was hard. No, don't get me wrong. That black on pink with the red jack, the red thing. <laughs> with the, the yeah, with the pink. come on, that's, bro. That, that is clean with me, man. That, that is clean. But at the same time, that that's like saying that, that's like saying you like. Uh, uh, well, I guess I'm you know. Because some people like some people don't like Super Saiyan three. Some I love like Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan three, but look, I, I don't like Super Saiyan three. My thing is this. My thing is this. They should have gave Jab uh, Jabita. They should have gave Vegeta. Don't steal my name. They should have gave Jabita Super Saiyan. Not Jabita. <laughs> Not Jabita. They should have gave Velveeta Super Saiyan three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's something like they, they wanted to put a black character in there. <laughs> Jabita. Jabita. You know what I'm saying? I'm Jabita. I'm Jabita. I am the black Saiyan. I am the I, Black Saiyan. I am the last and only Black Saiyan. I'm trying to tell you, bro, and don't be surprised when y'all see Broly with this new power-up. Y'all think I'm tripping, but it's coming. I'm I hoping. told you. I told you. Man. Broly is about to unlock God Key, bro. Bro, I just I, I always bring this up. Every time someone someone always want to bring this up, and I was literally just talking about this yesterday. Come on. Broly versus Jiren. Broly versus Jiren. Broly win. Broly versus Jiren. Broly wins. In the comment section below, say who you think is going to win. Broly wins. Broly wins. But they were saying Jiren. But in the comment section below, tell me who you think is going to win and why. That's all. Broly wins. Broly, easy. Bro, it's Stop easy. Playing. Easy, this nigga is the only one that can take two Super Saiyan gods and Super Saiyan That's an easy four. dub. What? And the fact that in the canon, they fought after they fought Jiren. So, remember, what happens when That is loses? a fact. What happens when the Saiyan loses? They get strong. Zenkai boost. Zenkai, Zenkai boost. Exactly. And then they Zenkai boost, so they're stronger. They probably still, at their normal state, wouldn't be able to beat Jiren, but then they fuse to fight Broly. That means, I feel like that fusion, no. That current fusion when they're fighting Broly, couldn't Jiren couldn't take. Wait a second. And then to add more into that. He was only a Super Saiyan 2. Broly? Broly was only fighting him at Super Saiyan 2. But the thing is... Goku and Vegeta was Zenkai boot, boosted out. They yeah. couldn't do it no more. Nope. Broly was just starting the Zenkai boost. Yep. 
Man, y'all better do y'all research, yep. bro. I, he didn't even have to ask me who too many. I said it right off the bat. And look, if you really think about it, the only reason why Jiren didn't uh, use his hands on Goku, Goku had to go ahead, force Broly to use his hands in Ultra Instinct. Mm -hmm. Broly would have to sit up there. Broly would sit up there and force Jiren's hands. Jiren, oh, yeah. there's no way that Jiren could use telekinesis and knock Broly back. Oh, no. His force is too strong for him oh, to, no. man, look, y'all better do y'all research. And then even after the fact of that, Broly, um, not Broly, um, uh, Jiren, like I said, uh, he would have waxed that Yeah, his come on, head. stop playing, bro. He, he would have buffed man. that boy. He would have buffed him. Yup, come on, bro. Stop buffed playing. him and tossed him. Buffed him and tossed him. Just, just like the bowling ball down the aisle. You did nice and shiny and whoop. You let 17 and Frieza give you a hard time. <laughs> that wasn't even Goku. Man. Then you let Frieza and Goku give you a hard time, which was one of the most epic moments I've ever seen, yeah. which was needed. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. Man, so... Guys, we're going to end this thing with a final round. We've been chopping it up with y'all. My nose has been running all stream, all, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> whatever. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, it's summertime, man, dog. If, if I hear anything in the comment section, I'm getting on everybody's head. I ain't playing. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, final round. Burn, any thoughts, bro? Um, Main one, um, I'm hoping that this One Piece... This one piece uh, live, live action, action. Just does well. Um, at the end of the day, if it doesn't do well, right, you still the best Pokemon. God, um, don't, man. Uh, let's see. Um, besides that, you know, fire, license, fire, ice, and lightning. Lightning did its thing. You know, it definitely, it definitely did. did thing. It did its thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Burn tapped in. He's saying it. He definitely seen it. Man, Luffy gonna get you, bro. If it falls into the water, bro, it's over. Look, if, if, Nami, if Nami if Nami can hold it, I think he'll let me hold it. I bet you know what I'm Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> look, oh, Lu 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 Luffy, you done? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, out of here. Done. We ain't friends no more. We, 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 we weren't <laughs> friends to begin with. But we ain't friends no more. <laughs> oh, we had two pause moments on Luffy. I'm done, bro. So yeah. Uh, I just want to go ahead and just say, man, shout out to you guys for holding us down, man. The last few podcasts have been going crazy on YouTube, man. We still at 209 subscribers, but it's cool. It's a slow burn, and we're going to get to that 1,000 subscribers mark real soon, man. But keep rocking with us, bro. We appreciate y'all. Most definitely, if you have to listen to us on the go, these episodes are on Spotify. They are on your DSPs. Please pull out your phone. We are in your pocket. Find us on Spotify and go listen to us. Also, follow that. Follow us on Spotify. Do that. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Also, we need 20 likes on this video. We also need you guys to keep commenting. Most definitely, sharing is caring. Share to make your people aware. Yep, share this to somebody who you think would like this. That's a fact because, look, I, what's understood don't need to be explained. We blowing all the boring podcasts out the water, fam. And shout, shout out to my homies down in Atlanta. Shout out to the Gasame podcast. You know what I'm saying? We we see y'all, you know what I'm saying? We making noise up here. Y'all make noise down there in the ATL, bro. Hey, but we we got Seattle up here. We got we got that noise up north. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, hey, this has been your boy, Saint B Bowman. Burn the weed. Another episode of the Straight hey, Bowman Podcast. And here, this is where anime and hip hop collide. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.